On today's episode of the Soul RV Podcast, we are clear in the air with Soul RV toilet talks, including the black tank, the dreaded poo pile, the gravity feed toilet, TNT for your RV toilet, and how to fix a clogged RV toilet. All of that and much more on this week's episode of the Soul RV Podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 16 of the Soul RV Podcast. I am Mark. And I am Angie with Soul RV. We have heard that you would like to hear our topic spread out over a longer period of time so that we can provide you with even more details on the subject. So that's exactly what we will do. We will now have a specific topic for each month and provide you with details on that topic each week. The last two weeks of each month will also include the Soul Goal Story and the Soul RV Spotlight for the month. Now, for the rest of this month, we are talking RV toilet talks, so let's get right to the black tank. Okay, the truth is, the stinky, nasty truth (laughs) is that no one really wants to talk about it, but we all must use the bathroom at some point. (laughs) I have friends that have had a rule that no one was able to use the RV toilet to go number two. This sounds funny. But I at least respected the owner for knowing that he wasn't going to deal with the black tank Mm. and that someone had done their business in. So at least he (laughs) he knew exactly what he could handle and couldn't handle. The problem with RV toilets is the design of it in itself. You can get the dreaded what they call the poo pile. (laughs) If you use proper treatments and flush your tank regularly, Hopefully you'll never have to deal with what a lot of RVers have had to deal with in the dreaded poo pile. (laughs) To understand this better, you must understand how the black tank, what the black tanks are comprised and how. The black water holding tank is really nothing more than what it is called. It's a plastic tank and it holds waste. It's usually a rectangular shape and at one end it will have a lower point which everything tends to drain to. In the top of the tank there are two pipes that come out. One of those is a vent. It will usually go up to the roof of your camper and vent on the top side. The other is attached to the top of the black water tank and goes up to the toilet flange on the floor of your RV. Mm. When flushing your toilet in an RV, it is what you would call a gravity fed toilet. When you push the lever to flush the stool, it's connected to what they call a blade valve. It slides out of the way opening the hole to where everything in it gravity fed ploop falls right down <laughs> with <laughs> excuse his um sound effects there <laughs> this design is why people have issues with the toilet <laughs> unlike your home that uses water to flush the waste down a drain in a way gravity toilets let all of the waste fall into one area mm. it is time for tnt Toilet Talk's toilet tip number one is do not leave the valve open all the time on your black water holding tank while you are connected. You do not want the liquids to flow out and leave your RV toilet system clogged with the other stuff. (laughs) Yep. Toilet Talk's toilet tip number two, (laughs) no pun intended, (laughs) is about the vent fan in your RV bathroom. Mm -hmm. Make sure before you actually flush the toilet that you have the roof vent closed in the bathroom. And if it has a fan, make sure that you actually turn that off before you flush. If you leave it open and turned on, you will be sorry because Mm -hmm. that fan will pull all of that smell and just wretchedness up out of the black water tank and into the area. If this happens, good luck not puking. Yeah. Now, what if you get a clogged RV toilet? We've never had that, have we? Uh, (laughs) Yeah, actually about everybody I I know has at some point, but- Mm. uh, Are we going back to that poo pile? We're going back to the poo pile. (laughs) This is when the waste in your black tank hasn't Mm. properly been dispersing throughout Mm. the tank. 
in a perfect world, all the waste that goes into your black tank would dissolve and disperse throughout the tank. Yeah. Unfortunately, the toilet paper you use will play a big role in this. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't break down effectively or there's not enough water in the tank to help break it down, it will build up directly below the pipe that goes into that tank. Mm. If not caught, it will literally back up all the way to the top of that pipe. Mm. When this happens, someone's going to be having a bad day. Yeah. Your first thought was going to be, well, I can just go dump the tank. We're full. Mm -hmm. When you do this, most likely you're going to think the problem solved because you're going to get all the waste that was sitting in that tank previously to come out. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, you're going to find out that the toilet still seems to be clogged if you try and use it. So even running your tank flushers at this point doesn't seem to break that area down enough. Mm -hmm. The only way that I have found to remedy the problem is to get something into that impacted area and break it up. Mm -hmm. Is this going to go into the the awning rod? It is, unfortunately. Oh, no. the When we had it happen, the only thing that I could find to get to the bottom of that tank was a leftover awning rod that we just stored, mm -hmm. um, didn't use anymore. I was able to first turn off the water so it didn't fill the stool anymore because anytime you open that valve it runs water so mm -hmm. shut the water off open the valve and had to put that rod down and literally you're trying to push from one side to another to get that big pile which is just waste excrement and paper <laughs> and get it to where any kind of water up top could get it to flush and move to the side right once it breaks that bond to that lower pipe you can usually get it flushed out and that's when you know just adding more water getting it full and repeated rinses mm -hmm. will help with the situation mm -hmm. but first you have to understand what causes it and how it happens and mm -hmm. that buildup that happens in that pipe in the camper itself but it is pretty frustrating for sure yeah now with that mm -hmm. it is going to bring us a close to the, today's episode of the soul rv podcast mm -hmm. we hope that we have answered a few of your questions about rv toilets mm -hmm. how to fix a clogged toilet along with the best accessories maybe not use the rod <laughs> if, if you have other options it, we are not recommending that we are not responsible for any damage caused by an awning rod being used in your toilet because there are those sensors you, you got to think about be that careful while doing this definitely <laughs> Um, even mm -hmm. the the wands that they have you can use that are meant to try and help with a situation like mm -hmm. that but I found that those aren't long enough to get down sure. through from the top of the toilet down into the tank to be able to get that to move out of the way enough to break that seal and right. get it to flush so keep in mind there are sensors in that black water tank just don't go thrashing around you could damage or destroy so just be incredibly careful when doing this mm -hmm. Soul RV is not responsible for any damage that you caused to your <laughs> RV trying this. Do um, not sue so us. It won't work. <laughs> just be careful. Thanks so much for joining us today. As always, Soul RV encourages you to safely get out and live and explore the world around you. If you'd like to check out our show notes from today's episode, just go over to soulrv.com and click underneath podcast. And make sure you follow us on social media and be sure to hit that subscribe button below.